because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Jason, um, you look great all week. I remember seeing you on the, the uh, week of Demetrius Andre. As always, everyone looks tight at the weight. You've been smiling all week. I'm sure those extra eight pounds have been really nice. Um, as Andy says, boxing's a, a strange game. You know, after that Demetrius Andre world title fight, I'm sure you were very down and, and looked at your future. And all of a sudden, after a, a solid win just a couple of months ago, which will put you in great stead for Saturday night, what an opportunity for you at Madison Square Garden on Saturday. Yeah, this is a massive opportunity for me uh, to come here on this stage, on this platform, and to really show my worth now. You know, I know people have been overlooking me and stuff like that, so this is my opportunity now to put a, put a respect and put a stamp on my name, and that's what I plan on doing on Saturday night. You're always a, a, a talked-about prospect, but you're one with a tremendous amateur pedigree. Everyone knows how good you are, and you've proved it at a certain level, and obviously you stepped up, you got injured in that fight as well but kind of like the moment of your career on Saturday night to prove to everybody how good you are. People back home in Ireland, you're going to have great support in the arena as well. So it's going to be a great atmosphere. But you believe you have the beating of this man as well. You've seen the hype. I know you respect him as a fighter, but you believe you are the better fighter going in there on Saturday. 100%. You know, I back myself all the way. The training that I've done, the stuff that we've been through, come through, progressed from, I know I'm the better man. And Edgar is a great fighter. He's going to come here to one, which is going to make it an incredible fight. But I'm the man. I'm here to become champion. I'm here to progress my career, to progress my life. And uh, that's what I've got to do in fight night. You've been there before. You've seen the hype for, in boxing for years and a lot of hype around this guy as well. Do you like the fact that you know those other fights are getting mentioned and you are the underdog on Saturday? There's not huge pressure on yourself other than the pressure that you and your team put on yourself but do you like the fact that almost the pressure is on this man on Saturday and you're ready to quietly go around about your work and get this victory yeah that's what I've been doing you know throughout my whole career even as an amateur and um, we've been going into as Edgar's coach says they're the lion's den I've been doing that going to Kazakhstan going to Russia fighting all these fighters in these big arenas with no even English being talked there do you know what I mean um, I've been in these hostile environments. I've come through these hostile environments and that's nothing to be concerned about or to be worried about on fight night because I've experienced this, I've come through this already. But I've so much belief in myself, so much belief in my team around me, the work that we've put in, and I know the opportunities that can come from this fight and that's what makes it so exciting. And everybody knows me. Um, I don't put myself out there too much. I don't, you know live up to all this hype and everything like that there. That's, that's not the type of person that I am. I like to come in here. I like to do my job, what I'm here to do, what I'm here to get paid to do. And uh, that's what I plan on doing, you know, coming in here, putting in a great performance on Saturday night and walking away a winner. And finally, people are talking about the big fights for him. But as Andy said, this fight changes your career, your life. You win this fight, opens the door to all of those guys, Golov Golovkin, Mungia. Canelo, I mean, it's so many big fights out there for you if you can defeat this man on Saturday. Yeah, we know the opportunities are there. We know the doors that this fight can open. Um, but I haven't even thought about these guys. Do you know what I mean? The only man's been in my head, Edgar. That's all I've been preparing for. That's all that I'm getting ready for. And um, whatever happens after that happens. Do you know what I mean? But the only focus for me now is Edgar and Saturday night. Thanks, Jason. Edgar, welcome. The time is finally here. The, the hype is already set um, and the pressure is on on Saturday night. I think there's no doubt about it. Everyone's expecting a big performance from you. Um, you've been talking the talk and time to walk the walk at Madison Square Garden on the zone on Saturday. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, you know, I just want to thank the zone. I want to thank Matchroom. I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, Jason Quigley and his team for taking the fight. You know, uh, it's a big weekend. You know, I'm back home, a year layoff, new promotion. Um, like I said, man, I'm back home and I'm ready to perform. You've talked about you, you choose violence on Saturday night. Is that the kind of performance that we need from you? You're ready to go in there and, and cause chaos on Saturday night. We know Mark said you can box, you can punch, but you feel you need to make a statement with it as well on Saturday. 
Yeah, um, for me, I don't, I don't really put too much pressure on me on, on that. You know, I know a lot of people is uh, they trying to, you know, downgrade uh, Jason Quigley and say, you know, this is gonna be an easy fight. I know he's gonna make it a difficult fight. I know that for a fact because he's gonna run off the the Rose fight and the Coseras fight, move around, box around. You know, so we prepare well for that. You know, um, in my opinion, it's gonna be actually a difficult fight because. He's not gonna stand in, a, in, 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 a, uh, in the middle of the ring with me, you know. So uh, we just looking for fireworks, man. That's all, you know. I just been I've been prepping very well for him, you know. Uh, he's a great fighter. Uh, much respect to him and his team, you know. But we gotta handle business this weekend. Just a handful of tickets left. We're gonna be completely sold out on Saturday. Main event for you in New York. This is the 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 perfect platform, the perfect opportunity to go on to where you want to be. No, for sure, man. And I just want to thank all my fans around the world that, you know, that's buying tickets. All my supporters, all Boricua, ya tu sabes, de lo mío, everybody here, man. You know, uh, I want to thank my team. Um, I'm excited, man. Another sold out show. Once again, off a year layoff. You know, uh, this is blessings, man. And uh, like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm well rounded right now. Um, I feel great. You know, I'm ready to go. And my final question is with all the hype, you know, the. The float that you had at the Puerto Rican Brigade just last week, the main event at Madison Square Garden, no pressure on you or pressure to perform or you put that pressure on yourself, but you know that the real stars shine under this kind of pressure and it's time for Edgar Belanga to make a statement on Saturday. Oh, of course, for me, it's, uh, it's bigger fish out there. You know, for sure, you know, they're talking about, you know, the Triple Gs, the Charlos. These are the type of guys that I want to get in the ring with. You know, I'm already at that level where I'm seasoned already to to get, to step in and, and and get to that level, and uh, I gotta just, you know, beat the shit out of Jason Quigley this weekend. You know, chocarlo, matalo, ya tu sabe, and that's what it is. You know, is this weekend. Well, Edgar Belanga, Jason Quigley, gonna be an incredible atmosphere at Madison Square Garden on Saturday night. Fantastic card and a great main event between these two. Wherever you are around the world, don't miss it. Live and exclusive on zone. We'll see you for the weigh-in tomorrow. As I said, limited tickets left. It's going to be completely sold out on Saturday night. We'll see you there for a great night of boxing. Thank you. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.